Do you like chocolate? Yeah, who doesn't? Wow, that looks amazing. My chocolate cake will definitely change your life. I thought you said you didn't need any help today. Mm -hmm. Right, well, if you needed anything, you could have asked me. But you have never done the right thing by girls. Why would you start now? It's a long time since you've had a job that's demanding. I know what I need to do. I've been managing the MS for years. At some stage in the future, your symptoms may get worse. I don't need to listen to this. You came here because you knew you needed help. Don't leave without it. Well, you tell me not to work too hard, and then you don't even follow your own advice. This has got nothing to do with work. Unless you call pitting cherry surgery. I'm trying to memorise a cherry cheesecake recipe. Really? Something wrong with that? No, no, no. You just don't strike me as the sort of person who spends a lot of time in the kitchen. Yeah, well, it's a recent discovery. Why do you have to memorise it? I'm just learning to cook using my instincts. Oh, but that's all about experimentation and, and letting go of control. That's not about rote learning. Don't you have somewhere you need to be? No, yoga's not for another half an hour. Yes, I am taking your advice and taking a little bit of time for myself. Oh, ah, well, there you go. Yeah, yoga's a good start. Mm. Oh, I think my coffee's ready. Yoga and coffee. Well, one step at a time. Oh, hello. Hi. to be chained to a desk. Oh, don't tell Paul that. You'll give him ideas. Aren't you the boss? Well, I'm the editor. He still owns the paper. Uh, I was going to try and track you down, see if we could catch up over coffee. But oh. uh, can you hang about? I'll get one. Oh, sorry, Carl. I haven't got time. Susan, you said you were going to try and slow down. I am. I'm actually on my way to a yoga class. Oh. Oh, that's good. Yeah, they started one in the community centre. Supposed to be very gentle, very relaxing. Sounds like just the thing. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. I'll see you later. Bye. Susan. Casual clothes day, is it? I don't remember getting the memo. I'm actually not going back to the office, Paul. Really? Mm, taking a bit of time out. So you've done your budget, then? I'm working on it. You do know that production and advertising had this in a week ago. I've been at the office till midnight three times this week. End of financial year is almost upon us. I need to see your figures before they go to the board. I'll have them to you in the next day or two. Mm, don't leave it to the last minute. I won't. So did I, but apparently the editorial budget can't wait. Well, that's not fair. Doesn't Paul know how hard you've been working lately? Oh, yeah, he knows. He just doesn't care. What are you looking for? Uh, it's some papers with the leave entitlement figures on them. Ah, is this it? Yes, yes. Now, why couldn't I see that? Because you've been working way too hard and it's not good for you, Susan. Have you been talking to Carl? Carl? Yes, Carl. You remember Carl. Tall bloke. You share a house with him. Okay, the truth is, I was hoping that I could come to yoga with you. Breaking up with Andrew's been stressful and I thought it might help. Oh, Summer, I'd love to take you, but as you can see... Well, why don't we both go to yoga and then we can work on this together afterwards? Because there's just too much to do. Yes, but you need a break. You'll come back fresh and you'll get it done so much quicker. Come on. Okay. <sighs> yes, all right, come on. Great. Let's go. That ah, sounded good. Can we go again? Well, I thought we nailed it. Yeah, I don't know. I think Adrian might have missed the change, eh? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah. Well, apart from the change, yeah. obviously. Still getting used to the tempo, sorry. Well, that's all right. That's what rehearsals are for. Yeah, well, since we stopped drinking, you could try and tone the volume down a bit. I'm having trouble hearing myself sing. Well, here we go, all about the singer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, come on, are we going to rehearse this change or not? Uh, let's take it from the top, yeah? Well, hang on, is that really necessary? Well, yeah, if you want to play this song at our first gig. <laughs> that's a way off. I think we're ready to go. Well, I don't. You just said how good we were sounding. It doesn't mean there's not room for improvement. What do you reckon, Adrian? Yeah, I'm good to go. And the best way to improve is through performance, right? Yeah, on stage, in front of an audience. <laughs> Who'd book us, anyway? Oh, there's plenty of venues out there. I've actually got a few contacts at the council. I can ask around if you like. That's right. 
I'll take care of it. Well, if you're sure. Yeah. You're not the only one with contacts, you know. <laughs> OK. <laughs> OK, well, let's uh, rehearse from the top, then. Right. One, two... One, two, three, four. All the work I've left behind. Which will still be there when you get back. I know, that's what worries me. <laughs> Hello, I'm, uh, I'm Bernard. Hi, um, Susan. Susan. Uh, I hope we're not done late. No, 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 we're just about to begin. Oh. Sorry, this is, uh, Summer. I'm a last minute ring in, I'm afraid. That's all right. I will need to get you to fill out a form after class, though. Sure. Grab a mat each and we'll get started. Okay. Feeling more relaxed already. Me too. Mm. The trikonasana or the triangle pose. Step your feet wide apart. Take a deep breath in and raise your arms to the side. Hold. And as you exhale, bend from the waist and allow your hand to guide down towards your ankle. Listen to the breath as you hold the pose. Just allowing your breath to take you deeper and deeper into the pose. You're a child. Release any tension from the shoulders. Just breathe into the shoulder. And feel the left arm extending, reaching, opening. How's that feel? Good. So, gently open your eyes. Thank you very much. I hope to see you all here again next week. Namaste. Namaste. Oh, I could just float away. Mm, not until you help me with that budget. Are you glad you took some time out? Oh, definitely. I feel much more relaxed. Mm, I'm sure you do. After all that personal attention. He was correcting my pose. It's been a long time. I'm out of practice. I'm sure you'll pick it up again. Oh, uh, Lucas. Hi. Looks like fun. I just need four arms. Yeah, I'll offer to help, but uh, I'm just going to get my head ripped off. You hold, I'll pull. Are you? Really wedged in there, isn't it? <laughs> uh, hope the baby comes out more easily. <laughs> oh, good. Congratulations, you've just given birth to a bouncing baby cake mix. Oh, looks like you. Oh, you mean heavy duty. Solid. Oh. Hmm? What's with this thing anyway? I thought you liked mixing cakes the old-fashioned way. Huh? It was a present from Reese. Right. Sweet, huh? Yeah. Why don't I try this out on a batch of muffins? Yeah, look, I just remembered if I left something in the garage. I might nick back and get it. Okay. Been looking for you. Well, he found me. Saw your little gift, the one you gave Vanessa. Just trying to make your life a bit easier? Give all your patients presents, do you? Not all of them, no. Okay, we both know what this is. It's me being a friend. You don't have any friends. I'm just trying to look out for her. Uh, like you looked out for her the day she came into the hospital. She was lucky to get in the door before she collapsed. I'm not proud of the way I acted. Things are different now, I'm different. No, uh, you're stepping up. Yeah, Vanessa's my responsibility. And I should just back off, is that it? You're gonna be no good for her. I'm not the one who knocked her up and then abandoned her. No, you'll be the one who gets her hopes up and then dumps her when it all gets too real. Is that right? Yeah. Leave her alone. What time? Perfect. They have all their own gear, so all I will need is a deposit before the first gig. We're officially in business. Thank you very much. Another booking for Red Cotton? Uh, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Seems to be going pretty well. Mm. It is. Do you ever think about taking on uh, new bands? 
Ah, uh, yeah, I'm always looking for new talent, Carl. Yeah, because, you know, I've got a band. Yeah, the, uh, the right medicine. Prescription. Right prescription. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, you know, we're looking for our first gig. I know, thought it might help if we had a manager. Ah, uh, it, it would. Um, it's just I can deal with a younger crowd. Oh, our music isn't for old fogies. We do a Kylie Minogue cover that absolutely smashes. Oh, wow. Well, um, Carl, I'd love to. I would. It's just, I can't. Yeah, no, nah, I, re I really can't. Carl. Great news. I got us a gig at Charlie's. When? Tomorrow night. I, I thought you said you were going to let me look after the bookings. I was talking to Kate, and it just came up. Now, it's only a weeknight. We don't get paid, but we get to front an audience. Yeah, you should have spoken to me. What if I'd organised another booking? Have you? Well, no, but it's beside the point. Come on, Carl. This is a great opportunity for us. Yeah. Just hope we don't blow it. No, we won't. Okay, okay, well, I'll, I better speak to Adrian. Uh, he already knows. <laughs> what? Uh, he called me when I was at Charlie's. I'll see you at practice. Yeah. <laughs> right. I hope you don't mind. I've started already. I couldn't wait to use a new mixer. Oh, I thought you were Reese. Ah, uh, just me, I'm afraid. Uh, have you eaten? Oh, no, Reese is coming over. We're going to make dinner. Right, well, I just saw him at the pub and he didn't mention anything about that. Oh, uh, I'll give him a call. Check. That's rude. Not answering. Oh, well, that's Reese for you. Oh, he's lost. Yeah. So, what were you going to be cooking? Hola, la cachatora. Is that anything like chicken cachatore? <laughs> yeah, a little. All right, well, if you're still going to cook it, I can eat it. Sounds like a deal. Oh, any time. No, seriously, I couldn't have done it without your help. Hello, again. Bernard. Um, I was just on my way to get something to eat on the way home. Um, I'm interrupting you. Uh, no, no, not at all. We're just actually uh, finishing up. Have a seat. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> so, what can you recommend? Oh, definitely the tuna toasty. <laughs> okay, that sounds good. I should get going. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, bye, Bernard. Okay. Uh, bye. Uh, bye. Uh, <clears throat> I um, I didn't get a, a chance to to say how much I enjoyed your class. Well, thank you. I wasn't sure how many people we get. It's always hard at a new and new. Yeah. H have you been teaching yoga for long? Uh, ten years. Wow. Uh, wow, ten years. Yeah. And, and what were we doing um before that? Uh, I was an architect. Oh, no, that sounds interesting. Uh, yeah, it was, but it was really stressful. Mm. So when my marriage broke up, I um, I thought, you know what? Complete change of pace. Yeah, yeah I know exactly what you mean. Mm. I saw a pub on the way here, and I just wonder if you'd like to come and have a drink with me. A uh, drink? Yeah. Oh, no. I mean, I, I, I can't. I'm so sorry. I've um, just got all this work that I've got to catch up on. Perfectly yeah. fine. I should order. Oh, yes. Nice talking to you. Yes, yes, you, you too. Okay.